Hello. You may have noticed it's turned colder. The wind's now coming from the north, bringing Arctic air across the UK. And those winds will also bring a number of showers of a wintry nature, sleet and snow in places and the snow building up in some spots, but not for everyone. As this low moves away, it takes the persistent precipitation that we've seen as we started Monday, mostly rain, but some snow mixed in, and it clears it to showers. Those showers coming into East Anglia, as well as central southern parts of England and the southwest, mainly these are rain showers, but some sleet, perhaps some hail as well mixed in. But the, well, colder air already across northern parts of the UK will continue to bring snow showers into northern Scotland, Northern Ireland, northwest England, and North Wales. Away from the showers, plenty of sunshine, but it will feel cold out there, especially in that northerly wind. Temperatures of one to three Celsius in the north, five to six in the south. So certainly for southern areas, it's colder than it's been so far this year. And then as the wind continues to bring showers in overnight, we'll see the snow continue to build up. Not just over hills, we'll see some accumulations at lower levels for Northern Ireland, North Wales, North West England, and Northern Scotland, but the more substantial accumulating snow will be over hills, 10 to 15 centimetres in places. Rain, sleet and hill snow affecting the southwest. And where we do see the showers overnight and with temperatures falling away, the threat of some icy patches as we start off Tuesday. So watch out for those. But wherever you are, whether you've got the showers or the clear spells, temperatures will be well below freezing and it's going to be a cold start wherever you are as we begin Tuesday, some freezing fog perhaps across central parts of England, slow to clear. But otherwise, the showers continue in the usual spots uh, across northern Scotland, into the west of Scotland, Northern Ireland, northwest England, parts of Wales and the southwest. At lower levels, in places it'll be rain and sleet, over hills, snow continuing. And then a more organised feature, a low pressure coming into the Northern Isles as we end Tuesday bringing the risk of some gales and drifting and blizzard conditions over northern Scotland, particularly over the hills. At lower levels, uh, there's going to be some milder air mixed in, so it could be a mixture of rain, sleet and snow, but certainly um, it's going to be feeling very cold as that uh, wind strengthens across northern Scotland, and that wind coming into Northern Ireland, parts of western UK, so a marked wind chill and temperatures up and down the country at two to four Celsius. But there will still be plenty of sunshine out there, so for many it is a dry and bright day away from those areas affected by showers. The showers, as always, hit and miss, but more organised snow affecting Northern Ireland and Northern Scotland at times. And as I mentioned, that wind strengthens further later Tuesday, bringing the risk of gales and drifting snow to the higher parts of Northern Scotland in particular, and perhaps to lower levels for a time as well. Tuesday night then brings the threat of icy patches once again to those areas affected by showers. And then as we go into Wednesday, the cold air is still with us, but increasingly later this week, drier conditions prevail with plenty of sunny skies.